We become so accustomed to hearing how notice and access saves companies loads and loads of money when it comes to their annual meeting. But when's the last time you ran the numbers to see if that's actually true? I sat down with Mike Spellman of Topan Merrill to kick the tires today on Zippy Point. So Mike, uh, on the last video we, you taped, you mentioned at the end that there might be other cost savings that companies can incur or perhaps by mailing a full set of print materials rather than using what I call e-proxy, but what most people call notice and access. How does that work? Yeah, and it's, it's a little convoluted to explain to, to people who don't understand the actual graphic arts process of producing uh, printed material. So notice and access, so the delivery of a notice of internet availability form, is primarily based on the total number of street positions you have, as well as registered shareholder positions. So a company that has 100,000 investors, but maybe of those 100,000, maybe 75,000 were eliminated because of householding, um, voluntary delivery of electronic delivery, managed accounts with the institutions, consolidated accounts, only required to produce 25,000 sets of material. But the processing fees for notice and access are predicated upon the total number of positions that you have, the 100,000 number, not the 25,000 investors who would ordinarily receive the materials. So there's a sliding scale um, of fees, processing fees associated with that. Uh, I believe, let's see, I think 18, it should come out to about $20,500 just to process the notice of internet availability forms. On top of that, there's, there's form fees, envelopes, postage, storage. So if you produce, if a company produces a, a 10K and an, and a proxy statement, Broadridge needs to silo those documents for potential pick and pack fulfillment. So there's a thousand dollar charge most of the time, a thousand dollar charge for each silo. So it's typical minimum charge of $2,000. Fulfillment fees, but here's where it gets sticky. You already have an investor base that has, has requested to receive full set delivery. So remember now, we started off with 100,000 investors. We whittled it down to 25,000 because of the ability to suppress uh, many of those uh, packages from having to be produced and mailed. So of the 25,000, perhaps maybe 1,500 want full set. You only have to send out 23,500 notice of internet availability forms. But those 1,500 sets of 10Ks and proxies need to be printed. And in order to get that printed, you have to go through the general print process, which is essentially setting up the presses, incurring the spoilage, the bindery, et cetera, et cetera. The incremental cost of the additional 23,000 typically does not, now again, it's uh, depending upon the scope of services, it typically doesn't exceed the cost of the notice and access fees. So that's where we do the analysis. It's crazy. And, um, and you know, the, the studies have shown that, that recipients of the notice of internet availability form are not necessarily going to respond to it, All right? So what's, what's the end goal of having an annual meeting, right? It's to get your investors to support management's proposals. We're not here to promote printing. What we're here to promote is true electronic delivery. And electronic delivery via email, where Brock Romanek gets an email with links to the documents and directions to the voting site on your mobile device or your laptop or your home PC is a lot more effective than getting something in the mail that says, dear Brock, you're not getting materials this year. Go inside, log on, look at the materials and, and vote your shares e-delivery containing the documents, and this is a service that Broadridge provides as well as the transfer agents, is 32 cents per investor. That's a smoking deal. That's true electronic delivery. So what we try to encourage our clients to do is go to a hybrid model. We understand their environmental um, reasons for not going back to full set. We totally get that and we respect that. But you have to include some language in the body of your proxy materials that give clear direction and instructions on how to do electronic delivery, how to go online to proxyvote.com. If you get, you know, the, the lay investor like myself, who, who would receive the instructions, you know, in the, in the middle of a, a paragraph on page five of the proxy statement, it's important to enroll in the program, I'm not gonna pay attention unless you give me direction. 
So we create graphics and, and illustrate how important it is and quantify the fiscal and environmental impact within the body of proxy materials. Hey, dear investor, this is what we expect to save and achieve as a result of reducing our carbon footprint. We need your help. That's, that's the distinction. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's mind blowing, just yeah. like your other tips. Uh, so there's some real cost savings and uh, not only that, more effective shareholder communications available Absolutely. to companies. Well, think about it, right? There, there, there's a requirement for more disclosure, right? And, and, and more pushback from institutions like ISS and Glass-Lewis. So what we need to do is communicate the message more effectively and efficiently, whether it's electronic or in a printed form. But if companies think they're saving money by reducing their print costs and mailing costs through notice and access, they're mistaken. Because it's hard to understand how you can eliminate all those, those books and all that mailing and not, and not achieve the desired result of you know, uh, the, the fiscal benefit associated with, with that service. The reality is <clears throat> you're not re realizing those savings. And in many cases, companies are increasing their spend on the solicitation side. <laughs> so they're not sending the material, it's not being viewed, but they're, they're, they're placing calls into those investors, those key investors to get their support. It, it's contradictory. Wow. So thanks so much. And if you want to learn more, reach out to Mike. We'll have his contact information in the show notes. Appreciate it, Brock. Thank you very much. Thanks. Mm -hmm.